Initially the uh, Community Clicks programme was created to support the over 50s that during Covid didn't have access to any digital devices. Uh, we felt there was a huge need out there to make certain that uh, the over 50s were included. This programme is, is bespoke and, and certainly different. Um, we are able to, through the funding that we're getting through our corporate sponsor 3i, um, tablets that not only they use whilst they're in class, but actually they're given to them personally. So it's a real sustainable programme that after we finish uh, the teaching aspect, they can take it home and they can use it um, in, in, their own, in their own lives. So we're really making a difference here. They've been learning things um, literally from the start on turning a device on, setting up an email address, sending and receiving emails, connecting on Facebook, um, finding friends and family on Facebook, sending the message. Um, we've also done video conferencing using um, Duo and Marketplace and the guys have learned as well to do online purchases and not be afraid of what's online. So the, the confidence is just building in, in the guys as they're getting more and more used to this. When we created this programme a year ago, we knew there was a real community need out there, but what we hadn't realised was the amount of interest that it would bring to uh, community links. From our initial pilot programme, we have oversubscribed by 80% and have actually delivered the programme within 12 months shorter than we originally planned. So just showing you the pure scale of opportunity for people within the community to access this training. It's been amazing. Um, to see people in their 70s and over, even though this is an over 50s programme, the majority of learners are in their 70s and to see them take on board and retain and learn and the friendships that are built up. The other aspect I've seen is, is the social element. Um, we didn't want a programme that was accredited, that had pressure about exams. We wanted it that anybody could just turn up. It was very much around having it um, social, having lunches, really getting to know other people and to build friendships. And I feel that we have certainly achieved that. It's bringing the community together because it's a local hub and a local hub that a lot of people, um, even in the community, were not aware of. So once people start realising Community Links is on their doorstep, the services they offer when it comes to um, youth engagement, um, the services for elderly people, free law advice, food banks, which people were not aware of. So I think using all of that um, has also highlighted Community Links for a lot of people, but it was also a stepping stone for some that had heard of it um, and people could recommend a local community actually been quite emotional for some of this because some of the case studies that we've had that have come forward have really shown the impact to this program from people that have lost family um, and been able to reconnect both in the UK and international those buying their first washing machines and doing internet um, online purchases, having their own bank accounts and even just uh, booking a doctor's or dentist appointment. What really made me laugh was uh, one of the ladies wanted to take up line dancing and actually joined a group um, virtually online. I'd like to extend a massive thank you to the Free Eye Group for providing the funds to create such a unique offering and hopefully continue to support such a fantastic programme within the Newham community. I'd also like to extend this opportunity to any other corporates that would like to find out more how they can get involved in our Community Clicks programme.